Hi and welcome to Cowes, where this past week has seen three days of great racing for the Coots Quarter Tonne Cup. We also have news from the Corby Cup, Jogs Race to St Var, the Round Britain Powerboat Race and the sixth round of the Cowes Keelboat Solent Series. The Coots Quarter Tonne Cup was run by the Royal Corinthian Yacht Club from Monday to Wednesday last week and was blessed with great racing in a range of conditions. Nine races were scheduled and going into the final day there was still everything to race for but not for the black quarter tonner ASAP, which dropped its rig in the first race of the final day in windy conditions when lying third overall in the series and challenging for the podium in this race. Olivia Hayes Parniente had a poor first day but improved on day two, but then slipped to 18th in this race. At the front of the fleet was Darren Marston's catch and he went on to win the race by just 11 seconds. Howard Sellers and Mike Till's Bullet took second, ahead of Graydon Dawson's Diamond, with series leader Chris Frost and Kevin George's Tom Bombadil taking fourth. This reinforced Tom Bombadil's overall lead, and going into the final race, only Tony Dodd's Purple Haze was still in contention. At the first attempt to start the final race, the fleet were too eager and forced a general recall but they got away at the second attempt, with only Supernova and Pindari picking up Z-flag penalties. Louise Morton's Espada got a great start at the leeward end of the line, and at the windward mark they rounded overlapped with Catch, with Snoopy rounding third. This final race was sailed around a Solent course, but took them west from Fishbourne in a series of beats and runs, back to the finish nearer Cowes. In the 17 to 28 knots of southerly breeze, some of the off-wind legs were too shy for spinnakers, and at the halfway stage it was Catch which led the fleet, ahead of Espada and Snoopy. But on the next beat, Espada took the lead, and it was Louise Morton's all-girls team which led into the finish. But on handicap, they lost the win by just one second to Purple Haze. Catch took second on the water and sixth on handicap, while Snoopy finished third on the water and fifth on handicap. But overall it was Tom Bombadil which took the quarter tonne cup, ahead of Tony Dodd's Purple Haze in second and David Tideman's Snoopy in third. Jog's race to St Bar started on a grey Friday evening in a west-south-westerly of less than 10 knots. There was a low turnout for this race and only five yachts came to the line for the Class 5 start. With the tide under them, the fleet headed east up the Solent before heading across the channel. Imperator was first in class into the French port after a 17 and a half hour passage and she saved her time to win the class ahead of a double-handed Electron in second. Blustery Day took third while Rainbow took a very slow 26 and three quarter hours to finish last in class. Half an hour after class five, class four had six starters come to the line. In this class, the first boat into St. Bar was Marta after 16 and a half hours. She finished just three minutes ahead of Jibe and these two took first and second on handicap. With Alacrity finished third in this class ahead of Long Pierre and only just, while Zest retired. Class 3 also had a small turnout with just six starters coming to the line. In this class, the line honours winner didn't take the handicap win. Thunder 2 led the fleet across the line but dropped a second on handicap behind class winner Just So, which won by just under three minutes on corrected time. J Fever took third. Forty-seven racing powerboats in eight classes started the 1,400-mile Round Britain powerboat race from Portsmouth on Saturday. The first leg was a dash west to Plymouth, but tough conditions saw only 32 boats complete the first leg. The second leg to Milford Haven was cancelled on Sunday in the face of gale force conditions, and many boats were taken by road to Milford Haven for the start of the third leg on Monday. 
This weekend saw nine boats turn out for the inaugural Corby Cup, laid on by Cowes designer John Corby to celebrate 20 years in the yacht design business. The fleet saw an eclectic mix of Corby designs, ranging from the Corby 40 Crackling Rosie and the Corby 36 Rosie, fresh from winning Class 2 in the IRC Nationals last weekend, to the varnished Corby Classic 39 Catherine and the well-known local boat Drake's Drum, a Corby production 25. Two round the Cairns races were sailed on Friday off a shoreline start and on Saturday they sailed three windward lured races from a committee boat start. Roy Dixon's Corby 36 Rosie took the honours in Class A and overall, with a string of five firsts. David and Jackie Riley's Corby 33 No Retreat won Class B and came second overall, with a string of second places and a fourth in Race 4. Stephen Brackley's Corby 30 Wild Child was second in Class B and third overall. The Corby 35 Enjoss took second in Class A, with the Corby 40 Crackling Rosie in third. Third in Class B was Iskarine, Robert Napier's Corby 33. This weekend saw the sixth round of the Cows Killboat Solent series being run by the Cows Corinthian Yacht Club off the Royal Corinthian shoreline. Eleven Darings came to the line on Saturday in a 15 knot southerly, which gusted over 20 knots at times. Decoy got a great start towards the outer end of the line and immediately went into the lead on the reach to Gales HSB. Closer inshore, several Darings battled for position, while at the outer end, Audax suffered a bad start which put her at the back of the fleet. Decoy led around Gales, where the fleet set off on a shy spinnaker reach across the Solent to a mark off the North Shore. Decoy went on to win the two and a half hour race by a minute and a half from Defender, with Finesse taking third only 13 seconds behind. Dynamite took fourth while Audax recovered well from her poor start to finish fifth. Five Dragons took the start for their race on Saturday. Supremacy and Rackham took the inshore end, but Niord got the best start in the middle of the line, with Jaboa further out. Unlike the Darings before them, the Dragons hoisted their kites halfway along this leg to Gales HSB, and at the buoy it was Niord which rounded first, overlapped with Jaboa. Rackham had moved into third at this stage, while Supremacy had dropped back behind Cavalier. But these positions were to change by the finish. Supremacy moved up from the back of the pack to take the win after a two and a half hour race by just 42 seconds from Rackham in second and Niord another three minutes astern. Sunday brought bright sunshine but the strong southwesterly was gusting over 30 knots and all racing for the Corby Cup and the Cows Killboat Solent series was abandoned. Well that's it for this week. Next week, Cows TV will be covering the JP Morgan Asset Management Round the Island race, which will see a record number of yachts heading around the island in the country's favourite yacht race. Join us then.